Good morning, folks. We're standing here in front of Wyatt Earp's house at 102 Fremont Street in Tombstone, Arizona. Now, keep in mind that the shootout at the OK Corral, or near the OK Corral, took place at 3rd and Fremont Streets. So, we're just a couple of blocks down from where the shootout happened. Surprisingly, Wyatt lived very close to the gunfight site. And just to prove to you that this is Wyatt Earp's house, if you'll look right beside it, it's actually designated as such. It's got a neat little horse statue out here in the front yard. And it also is called the Wyatt Earp House and Gallery. designates it as Wyatt's house and gives the history of it. And if you walk a little further this way back toward the gunfight site, which is up that direction down Fremont Street, you'll see a really neat Wyatt Earp statue here right beside it. How cool is that? The most interesting thing to me, I'm going to point out to you here, is that directly across the street, across Fremont Street from Wyatt Earp's house, you'll see another small house directly across the street. And at the time of the troubles between the Earps and the Cowboys in 1881, that house belonged to Pete Spence. Now Pete Spence was one of the guys involved in the death of Morgan Earp, Wyatt Earp's brother. And in fact, according to Pete Spence's girlfriend, from what I understand in her memoirs or accounts, they actually plotted Morgan's murder in that house over there. having to talk kind of loud because this is kind of a busy street this morning. Anyway, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But that's the house of Pete Spence. He lived directly across the street from Wyatt Earp. How odd is that? That two mortal enemies lived across the street from each other. It gets better yet. Stick with me. If you look that direction, caddy corner or across the street from that house, you will see a bed and breakfast. It's called the Virgil Earp bed and breakfast. I'm going to try to zoom in and kind of see Virgil's picture on it. I believe it was in the late 90s or early 2000s that Virgil Earp's house, which was located right there, actually caught on fire due to some teenagers playing with matches. That house unfortunately is no longer with us to see, but they rebuilt this Virgil Earp bed and breakfast on the side of where it once was. So stop and think about that for a minute. You had Virgil Earp right there. Cowboy Pete Spence lived right there. And then right directly across the street, we have the Wyatt Earp House. A little bit of history for you there, folks. The real story is much more fascinating than the movies. God bless.